Well, viewers, India has successfully conducted a flight trial of a long-range hypersonic missile, marking a significant boost to the country's military readiness. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said on Sunday, this missile is designed to carry various payloads for ranges greater than 1500 km for the armed forces. With this achievement, India has joined a select group of nations possessing such critical and advanced military technology. The missile was tracked by various range systems deployed across multiple domains. Flight data obtained from downrange ship stations confirmed the successful terminal maneuvers and impact with a high degree of accuracy, the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO said in a statement. This missile has been indigenously developed by the laboratories of the Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Missile Complex in Hyderabad in collaboration with other DRDO laboratories and industry partners. Why hypersonic missiles are crucial? Hypersonic missiles are weapons capable of traveling at speeds five times the speed of sound. Their range typically varies between 6,125 km per hour, which is Mark 5, and about 24,144 km per hour, which is Mark 20. These speeds make them incredibly difficult to detect and intercept. There are two primary types of hypersonic missiles, hypersonic glide vehicles and hypersonic cruise missiles. Hypers hypersonic glide vehicles are launched like ballistic missiles using a rocket booster. After reaching a certain altitude, the HGVs separates from the booster and glides towards its target, maneuvering in flight to avoid interception. Hypersonic cruise missiles use scramjet engines to sustain hypersonic speeds throughout their flight. The development of hypersonic missiles is a significant achievement for India as it presents several challenges including extreme heat, generation, precise control and guidance systems, detection and tracking difficulties and the need for effective interception systems. Hypersonic missiles have the potential to revolutionize warfare due to their speed, maneuverability and range. They could significantly reduce response times and make traditional missile defense systems less effective. Now, what's the launch process? Hypersonic missiles are typically launched using rockets. For glide vehicles, the rocket boosts the missile to a high altitude. Once at the desired altitude, the missile accelerates to hypersonic speeds. For cruise missiles, this is achieved using scramjet engines which compress incoming air before mixing it with fuel to create combustion at supersonic speeds. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, hypersonic missiles can maneuver during flight. This makes their trajectory unpredictable and uh, complicates interception efforts.